they're sort of a bit separated. One, two, three, four, and there's another three black ones a bit further over. Look, do you see we've got we've got the nursery? Yeah? The three folds together. It's getting, getting what is normal you can get from studying roundels. They have a special kind of air about them that lots of people have made remarks like, I suddenly realised I've never seen real horses all my life and I've been dealing with them for the last 25 years. And it's this, uh, what Maslow called self-actualisation. They actually make their own decisions about everything and they bear with the consequences. They're their own agents, they're their own... Uh, an awful lot of domestic horses don't ever choose anything. Anything. They can't choose their food, they can't choose the company, they can't choose what they do. Even when they're allowed to move, they have to move in very specified manners. Uh, that absolutely kills their soul in a kind of way. I think there's a huge amount of value in sitting, watching wild horses, especially when you begin to learn a bit about ethology about how, animal, how animals really behave instead of just doing your own anthropomorphic interpretations. 